just make sure that I'm not too nipply. Okay. Yep. All right. All right, what's up, y'all? So, I'm doing another mukbang. We're not doing a drunk bong this time because... because oh, I don't like alcohol. She doesn't really like to drink like that. Um, and if you're new, this is my beautiful wife, Chia. Hello. And, um, I nice just, to e meet you. Yeah, you know, I got a lot of new subscribers from, uh, you know, just recently from, like, the, the mukbang I did with Justina. She's crazy. She's crazy. We'll talk We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Uh, so, here's another one. A lot of y'all were like, yo, when are you going to do one with your wife? I already kind of did one, you know, when we had the little, like, argument. Oh, I just, like, poked my head and I had maybe one fry. Yeah, so this, is, this is the first time we're going to do one, like, together. I'm nervous because I'm not even really hungry. <laughs> Babe, it's cool. I'll eat. I'll eat. You just talk, all right? All right. <laughs> Today's mukbang is brought to you by Rayburn's Frozen sandwiches okay the story on these sandwiches is Ray and Bernie 30 years ago really wanted to share the delicious deli style New York sandwiches that they grew up on they wanted to share with the world Bernie taste tested meats and sauces and bread on his family and friends until he got it just right mm. and now you can buy these sandwiches they're frozen but they're good to go 90 seconds in the microwave and they're good to eat they look yummy they look super the yummy it looks nice and you know, like doughy. We got some different flavors here. We got the barbecue pulled pork. We got the pastrami and cheese. We got chicken bacon ranch. Okay. Southwest Chipotle steak. Chipotle. <laughs> Ham, egg, and cheese on a pretzel roll. Okay. And then we got the pastrami and cheese. All these sandwiches are hand assembled. They're put together by hand. They package them up and then they ship them out. And then you can buy these, throw them in the microwave. But what's going on right now, this is like the perfect snack to have when you're watching the game with all your friends and family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know your family's excited because... Canadians. Yeah. And, what about us? And Drake. <laughs> and Drake. Your your King Drake. Uh, you love him. You're the one with the poster in your closet. <laughs> hey. <laughs> all right. So I'm gonna throw all these in the microwave, 90 seconds each, and then we're gonna start testing them out. Now it's time mm. to eat. Now it's it smell time. Smell like cheeseburgers. They do smell like cheeseburgers. All right. And I love cheeseburgers. <laughs> cheeseburgers. <sighs> all right. What do you want to do first, baby? Let's do the um, the chicken one. You read my mind. I know. So, so here's because we're one now. We are one. We we did it. We got married. If y'all don't know, I'm married. Yeah, we're married now. It's almost been a year. Almost. Damn, it's almost been a year. We got married in August. Mmm. Damn. Cheers. Cheers. My fingers ring. Oh, fingers. It's hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. Too hot for you. It's hot, but it's delicious. Mmm. That's some chicken bacon ranch. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! I like this. Mmm. This one's really yummy. And mm. The bread is super good. Remember, mm. the bread looks good on the label. Super soft. It's like a French roll. Is that what they call these? I guess. Let me say. I could be. I could be wrong. It's still weird that you guys um that people like to watch people, people eat. eat. <laughs> I know. It's like, very strange. When I uh, but I also feel like I'm the worst person to do these mukbangs because because I, really I don't really eat a lot. I'm such a like a. I'm I just like, I'm just like a grazer. Like I'll have one little bite or this time, another little mm -hmm. bite this time. I don't really like to, I don't like to be like full, full. That's cool, baby. Pace yourself. You can, you can, you can bite, put that down if you want. Yeah. But still, it just like blows my mind that people do this until like, you know, fail. Mm -hmm. Which is just like, it's craziness. It's this dude named Matt Stoney that, um, he'll literally do like these like 10,000 calorie challenges and shit. What? And he has a little like timer running so that you can, you see... Him go through the whole process, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, there's no cuts. You can see him eat this whole thing. It'll be like the whole KFC menu and he eats it all. Is he healthy? He's thin. He's more fit than me. Yeah, probably has a personal trainer. Maybe. Or maybe he just has, you know, he's like a, he has a gifted digestive system. Or genetics or something. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's insane. I'm going to I'm gonna bite by path because I want to taste everything. I really like this one. I really like this one. I really, I really like this one. I think I need a drink. When people ask me what I do on YouTube now, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of weird because I'm like, yeah, I used to do a lot of sketches, you know, I put out the occasional rap here and there, but now, most of the thing I do on my channel is just Food? eating, eating on camera, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to go to, the, I didn't want to cross that line and be a, a mukbang uh, YouTuber, you know, don't trip guys, I got more skits coming, but... It just kind of like it's crazy how well these do. I give Tim, I give Tim so many good sketch ideas. 
and he never does any of them. Like that's so good. You need it, you would make millions of dollars. I'm telling you. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time he like, he's like, oh, I'm gonna shoot a skit today. I'm like, mm, you gonna do one of my ideas? And he's like, mm, no. I told you your idea is gonna work. And I need to put, I need to put it in a movie script. It, it is, oh, okay. It's not as funny as like by itself. Which one? Where do you want to go next? Pastrami, it's funny food itself. pork. It's a full story on its own. On their own. Full pork. Y yes. Yes. That's what everybody told me when you get married. That's the key. <laughs> Say yes, dear. And move on. <laughs> full pork? I'm Is with it. Full pork? Yeah. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Mm hmm Yes. Barbecue pulled pork. Mmm. Mm hmm This is good as well. Mm hmm I really like that. Oh, it's good sauce. It's, it's very, good. Very good sauce. Hey, look. Guys, I know this is a sponsored video. But these are actually really these good. These are really good. <laughs> like, the meat is good. The sauce is good. And look. The bread, the bread is really tasty. As somebody who lived like bachelor life for a long time i lived alone for six years <laughs> while we were doing the long distance thing something like microwavable sandwiches like this that's my stuff mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. i need that i feel like you prefer the microwave well, even like you know, you would you would rather use the microwave than use a stove i love the microwave I love the microwave for like certain things. I don't like to, to use too much of it. Because you know they're they're microwaves. Mm. Going into your body. I know but thank you. Convenience. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. I'll put a little alcohol in here. <laughs> like speaking of mug bombs and the one with Justina that did so well. Yeah. Um a lot of people, you know, I always get these comments, a lot of people like, yo, how do you, like, how does your wife deal with um, you shooting these videos with these girls? And we've, we've, we've answered this question so many times. Yeah. But. Um, I've done, like, a handful of blog posts about it. Yeah. We've done, like, probably three videos, I feel. Mm hmm And I'm always answering questions, even just, like, on Instagram. Like, just DMing, you know? Yeah. I realize I have a lot of new fans now. Oh, yeah, be yeah. Because of the new subscribers, because of Wild and Out. Wild and Out people that, like, people that maybe watched Wild and Out, they didn't watch the YouTube stuff before, mm -hmm. so they never saw my, like, my old skits and shit like that. Um, so, like, in this last one, where Justina was making a whole bunch of, like, dirty jokes and, like, mm -hmm. making jokes that we hooked up in the past, I mean... First of all, Justina's obviously kidding, you know? Yeah. And even if it wasn't obvious, I made sure to say in the video, not true, guys. But how like do you, that how, you... That you didn't hook that up. That we did not hook up, yes. yeah. So how do you feel... So how do you feel watching that video? Because, I, I, you know, I, of course I warned her beforehand, beforehand, too. I was like, hey, babe, Justina's making a lot of lot of uh, crazy jokes in this mukbang. I am warning you. But you know? I feel like, especially with her, that was really nothing that I had to get used to because I feel like she always makes those jokes. I mean, that's just Justina. Right. Right, that's just how she is. Um, so, I mean, it was nothing. It was just like the same as any other mm -hmm. day or time. But how do you, you don't feel like, oh, this is such disrespect to their marriage. You married now, blah, blah, blah. No, no, not at all. <laughs> and, well, she had texted me after and she was like, hey, just so you know, like, we were just, that was really? just, it was just a joke. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, it, it, this, uh, oh, yes. This is the Southwest, Southwest, uh, Southwest cheersy Southwest cheesy beefy one. Boink. <laughs> Feel free to stop whenever you're full too, babe. I will. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna eat until you tell me to. Mmm, that was a really good bite. Mm-hmm. I got a lot of cheese on there. Mm. Mm. Hold on, this tastes like something. It tastes has a it has a familiar like little spicy yeah. little green chili like, like a nachos. green green salsa. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tastes like nachos. Mm, salsa verde. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. This, this is a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I'm just like, and you know, my thing is too, is like I'm not I'm not really ever bothered by a lot of things, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and if things do bother me, I tell you. I've said this in the past, right? Yeah. Um You're so laid back and you're so understanding. And you get that people make jokes, um, mm -hmm. 
But like, if there was ever any time I ever said a tweet that was too reckless, or I made a joke in a video that she did not appreciate, then immediately I'm like, of course, mm -hmm. take it down, delete the tweet, right. re-edit the video, whatever I gotta do, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. this is true, you are, you are really good at that. There was one vlog specifically, so whenever I used to do my crazy like sketches, <laughs> right? She understood like this is me like portraying a character, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I would have videos where I would like be in bed with a girl or whatever, whatever, whatever. But when I but when I do the vlogs, she's like, that's that's me, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's one vlog. I was with a homegirl. The homegirl asked me to like rap. Excuse, uh, excuse me. Excuse, excuse you. Excuse me. Yeah. The homegirl asked me to rap on her it's song, and I was like, um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sent them to you. Yeah. I did a. <laughs> the homegirl asked me to rap on her song, she, and, I, and as I'm talking the vlog, I'm like, yeah, you know, she asked me to hop on a track, so I said, yeah, if you hop on this Oh, yes, and I forgot about this, yeah. So I made that joke, I put up the vlog, and Chia was like, hey, you know what? I didn't that, like that. That's a little too real. That's <laughs> like, you know, you not acting, right. you being just yourself. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm like, that's that's a little too much. Yeah, yeah. That's so, a little too much. She wasn't feeling that. She told me, she's like, hey, you know what? I, I don't like this joke. I was like, oh, yeah, cool. And, right away, and, took it down, edited it out, re-uploaded the vlog without the joke. Yeah, but you know, sometimes when, I, I feel like when you're in this whole like vloggy mode, like you kind of, you say things <laughs> That you think are gonna be funny. I mean, it always right? is. And, and they are funny, but you forget <laughs> that there's like, you know, a limit. There are things that, like, I don't want right. out there. No, I got you. I got you. But that's why. Always I'm, for the but joke. But for me, it's, it's hard. It's, for the joke. It's, it's hard to know what the, what the line is until I cross the line. You feel me? Uh, Be because you're so lenient, and also because everything to me. It's a joke. <laughs> so it's like. This is very true. Pastrami? It's, he doesn't take a lot of things. Pastrami? No, I don't. Other than like. Cheers. 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 This is pastrami. Mmm. Is there mustard on this? Mm hmm. Usually pastrami will come with some mustard. Really? Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. This is a really great sandwich. These are all really good. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. So once he crosses that line, we gotta bring it back. What? And say, like, hey, that's too. And also, too, like, with you talking about, like, having skits with girls in beds and stuff. Mm hmm. <laughs> um. Anybody being in my bed is like not cool with me. Like mm. that is like I draw the line. Oh god. Because like to me, like anybody who knows me like knows I love my bed. Like I wash my sheets like twice a week. Well, once a week. Sometimes twice a week if I really. If, depends how many times you sleep in the stinky. <laughs> um, but like my bed is like my sanctuary. Right. That's like my zone. Like it's sacred. It's a little sacred spot. And I wasn't. So when you're tainting it, <laughs> taint. taint with all of these, <laughs> that's funny, um, with all of these other people, I don't, I don't. Like so it wasn't until like, maybe like, I feel like a few years into it, she was like, hey, you know, I, I don't, I don't mind you doing your, your skits the way you want to do them. She's like, I have one request. Just keep other women out of our bed. And I was like, fair enough. That is fair. So that's why you see. The bed is sacred. A lot of the sketches in the past few years, if I do any like type of scene where it's like a dirty scene, it'll be on the couch or it'll be at a hotel. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So it's like so it's or not the, our the, bed. On the love sack, which is funny. Or on the love sack. Yeah. The love sack. So because that yeah. was like the one thing. But even though we still have spare bedrooms in the house, I still don't like that. It's the fact that it's just like a bed. Right. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I may um come on. I'll sleep on those beds sometimes when Tim is like snoring way too loud because <laughs> his snoring is outrageous. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. I purposely tried to go to bed before him so I can actually fall asleep because it sounds like a tsunami is on the way. On the way. What do tsunami sound like? Like you snoring. <laughs> I, I didn't know that's how tsunamis sound. <laughs> it is. Brekkies? Yeah. Okay. I really like these. I just want to like finish one. Okay. Hey, finish it off, baby. No. Right. Okay. Egg and ham? Yeah, just uh, this is like egg and ham and cheese on a pretzel roll. Mmm, pretzel roll. Yeah. Bomb. Boink. Boink. Mmm, the pretzel roll is really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. These are really great. Oh. 
Wow. I do like this. Wow. That's tasty. Mm -hmm. So. No bad. No bad. Like, and sometimes, but sometimes people are dumb too because they'll, um, they'll see the skits in the hotel rooms mm -hmm. and they'll be like, oh, oh, I'm telling Chia you're going to be in a hotel room with another girl. I'm like, bro, I'm mm. literally, there's six other people in the room. There's two cameramen, a sound guy. True. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what do y'all think? What do y'all think is going on? And it's like, a lot of people too, like, will tag me in like, if you take a picture with somebody mm -hmm. or um, like when you did the club night in San Francisco, mm -hmm. um, I got so many tags like, Jim is drunk, he's around all these girls, come get your man. I'm like, mm. Someone like two nights ago? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. But it's like, I don't even entertain, I mean, I don't even tell you anymore because I feel like. Yeah, it's silly. It doesn't even like, you know, phase me. Right. But it's silly. Are they dumb? I wasn't even drunk. I feel like they're just kids. But I mean, yeah, also, it was a bunch of kids, yeah. Anything that you see of Tim's that's... I feel like I have right on my teeth. Anything that you see of Tim's on any sort of platform has been approved. <laughs> has mm -hmm. been approved. Right? 100%. I just spit everywhere. I think I did. <laughs> In the Justina mukbang specifically, mm. I put up a minute clip on Instagram and people were like, oh my God, if my man ever did anything like this with a girl, it would be over. I'm like, right. she didn't even touch me. Right. She's literally right here. Right. Making like ridiculous, like dumb jokes. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's also like when you're <clears throat> dating somebody in this industry, mm -hmm. you have to understand that just like, that's just the, you know, part of the life. Mm -hmm. You know, I always tell people, it's like, you can't be mad at a teacher for going to work to teach, right? Mm -hmm. The same way it's like, I can't be mad that you're an actor that goes to work to act, mm -hmm. whether that's with butterflies or mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. women. <laughs> <laughs> but, I but, mean... Especially when I when I do a scene with somebody and um, they be like, oh, wow, how does, how, does, how does she deal with that? I'm like... How how do you guys think that like traditional movies and TV shows yeah, like, work? Like, that's true. Do you think all like the the kissing is like CGI or? Um, I guess I, I feel like it's also probably because people relate to you. Right, right, right. Like they can DM you. You yeah. know, you can like send them a video, whatever. You can't do that with like you know Brad Pitt. Yeah, it's not like they don't see Leonardo DiCaprio naked with. Rose in Titanic and think like, oh, what does his girlfriend think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. they, I'm so accessible kind of because like I vlog and you can talk to me on Twitter and Instagram that they feel like, oh my gosh, how yeah. can he do this to We're his connected. wife? There's a connection his here. His poor wife. <laughs> I'm okay, guys. I'm all right. <laughs> and that's another question too that I get a lot is like, how do you guys fight? Like, how do you, have you ever been so mad? Oh, I think I have to. Let's cut it out. Okay, what was I saying? Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. How do you guys, how do you guys, people will ask me, how do you guys fight? Like, have, oh yeah, have you ever been like so mad that you were just like <clears throat> yelling at each other? And what's like the worst fight you've ever had? Mm -hmm. Truly, I don't, I don't yell. I yeah. can't remember like the last time I yelled. Um, Neither do I. And I feel like when we have arguments or fights, you know, we, we we talk them out. When we argue, it's not even arguing, it's kinda like, babe, uh so hey, earlier when you when you did this, mm -hmm. I kinda it I I you know, I don't know, it made me feel like blah blah blah. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think that's like the healthiest way to do it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You uh you what are you supposed to say? You're supposed to like what, breathe, take three breaths and walk away. Oh sure. But I was gonna say <laughs> when you're like when you have a complaint about somebody, you're not supposed to say, hey, you did this, you did this, you did that. You're supposed to say, it makes me feel this way. Oh, right. So they don't feel so, like, like attacked. attacked. So it's right. like, hey, when, when, when you did this, um, it made me sad for these reasons. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's like, yo, can you not do this? Because mm -hmm. then it's like, oh, dude, get out of my face, right? Right. Mm -hmm. True. I also like to kind of just, like, step back a little bit, assess the situation when you're not, like, right in it, mm -hmm. think, and then come back to it mm -hmm. rationally. Mm-hmm. Even though I feel like I'm a pretty rational person. A pretty rational girl. You know? But so rational. But like yelling, like... I don't yeah, what's, what's the point? I just don't... I just feel like nobody can get their point across. 
Like and you're yelling, I'm yelling. Like, is anyone ever listening? It's the worst, man. That's why I feel like it's so dumb when people like they tweet stuff like, yeah. You know, I'm in a relationship that, like, yeah, you know, we bring out the worst in each other, but you know, we you gotta fight through it and blah blah blah. Like my my, my relationship's crazy yeah. and it's drama, but we, you know, that's you gotta hold each other down. Like that's dumb to me mm-hmm. because I feel like if someone's bringing out the worst in you, um, that's not good for you, right? That's like pretty toxic, as they say. Because mm-hmm. I remember being in a relationship in the past where I was like, I used to get so frustrated. Where I was, I mean, one day I think I think I think I did the whole like, no, you some 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 some. You, you know, them? yeah, like in in her face. It's really scary. And I, after that, I remember thinking, "Oh, you look so cute." <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hairspray it like no. that. So this is what happens when I get mad, baby. So <laughs> beautiful. You better, you better calm that down. <laughs> calm that down right now. Really Don't you ever say that to me again. Oh, it's hairspray. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you just so. So it was like herbal, herbal. <laughs> it was like delicious shampoo. And I just, I remember after we had that fight. Being like, wow, I hate who I am right now. I can't believe I let myself get to that point. I don't point. think I've ever, ever. See me like that. Never. Well, yeah, you. But I was going to say that. Like, <laughs> I've never gotten to that point. Yeah. I feel like if anything, that would just strain my neck. Yeah. I don't think it was a fucking chiropractor. Well, I remember. because what, what? And I already have neck issues. <laughs> this is not worth it. Well, I feel like. It, it hurts me of all people. She walked away from me. And then I was like, and I was like, and I was like, I was like, don't, don't turn around. Don't, don't walk away from me, right? And then, so as as she was like walking away, I just was like, no, look, stop, 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 stop. Yeah. yeah, but you were also like 18. Yeah, I was young. I was young. Yeah. Um, young and silly and stupid. <sighs> yeah. So that's not me anymore. I mean, I've never, we've never had an argument like that. No, never. You know. And and a lot of people are like, you don't know real love until you've had a fight. Oh, like, God. you know, like breaking stuff. I'm like, that's crazy. That's so dumb. This costs money. This glass? <laughs> Why would I want to break it? And who's going to clean that up? Like, look. Not me. You don't, like, that is not something that is the standard for a good Loving, which one is this? Passionate relationship. It's just pastrami again. Oh, yeah. Because like, it's possible to be calm and chilling and like still get things handled and like mm-hmm. and 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 grow as a couple. You know what I'm saying? Right. You don't need to take it there. Mm-hmm. You really don't. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people too have asked me like. Has your guys' relationship changed because now we live together before mm. we were long distance for like seven, eight years? Yeah. Um, I would say like... Seven. We were long distance for like six years. Okay, seven six, years. Okay, six years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. And then um, we were apart for so long and now we're like in each other's faces. Mm-hmm. I feel like our relationship hasn't changed. Mm-hmm. There's definitely been like adjustments. I didn't realize how frequent you leave the drawers open. I don't understand <laughs> this. I don't. I don't get it. He'll open up the drawer and like pull out some socks and then just because you're just gonna have to open it the next day. So why close it again? Do you do that with the fridge too? No, no, no. If you leave the fridge open, you're wasting energy and and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? The drawer being open affects nothing. You've stubbed your toe on it a few times. On the drawer open? No. You make yes, it, you, you have. Make it no, no, no. no. You make it so. No, I've not made it up. You have. I've not stubbed my toe yes, on an open drawer. No, I have not. And, yeah, and then he'll put his laptop like right there. So when you get out of the bed in the middle of the night, you like. I've seen you trip a couple times on the drawer and on your laptop. And then, oh, man, man, man. You making that up. No, no, no. It's true. <laughs> you don't remember because you're sleepy. I've stubbed my toe on the edge of the bed, not the drawer. Okay. The drawer is being open. Like, I close them now for her. Okay. But it's, you know. I just leave the lights on. What lights? Closet light. Because I'm not done in there yet. You're <laughs> 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 just a liar. <laughs> you a liar. You making stuff up. I'm not, I'm not lying, you guys. Wow, you crazy. She leaves the closet light open all the time. No. Okay, what do I do? That's annoying. You never put the lid back on the toothpaste. Okay, well that's because when you put the toothpaste, you screw it, you screw it so tight, so I can't open it. So I just leave it off because it hurts my fingers. He literally, when he puts the, the thing back on the toothpaste, it's so tight. Like, I, I, <laughs> yes, it is. It's really tight. I have to get like almost a pliers to undo it. 
Why do you have to screw it so tight? I don't. I have to make sure it's secure. It's I can't secure help it. I got. What? I can't help it. I have like super strong manly hands. Secure from what? From toothpaste thieves. Oh my god. From ants. Oh, I hate ants. See? I hate ants. And one time, listen, <laughs> listen. I spent like all weekend cleaning this house. I even vacuumed the ceilings. What? Yeah, like I'll take like the long extension and I'll like, if I see, if I, I just like, if the corner has like a little cobweb or something, I'll just like, you know, run it along. Oh, okay. So I did like a deep clean on this house one weekend. Okay. Dusted all, like everything. <laughs> and Tim comes home and you know, he's, he, I think you were away or something and you put your shit everywhere. Then I go into the office room and all of a sudden, all over the floor, I could see just hundreds of ants. Hundreds of ants were all over the floor. I was livid. Oh, because of the shoes. <laughs> so, Tim had stepped in something. There was like gunk on the bottom of his shoes. So yeah. when we put the shoe away, all these ants were like just all over whatever was on your shoe. That's not my fault. But I cried. <laughs> Oh, she was so frustrated. I cried because I was so frustrated <clears throat> and I was angry because I had just cleaned everything. Yo, and I had no idea she was that frustrated because it was funny because... Oh my God, I was pissed. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> she was like, babe, ants! And I was about to leave. I was on my way to another shoot and I was like, I was about to leave. And I was like, I looked down, I was like, all right, well, nothing we can do right now. I just walked out. I was like, all mm -hmm. right. I was like, all right, babe. I, I, I'll get... Yeah, we, yeah we'll, we'll take care of it. I walked out. I came back. She's like, you know, cleaning, lifting stuff, and she's like, and like tearing up. I'm like, are you, are you crying? I was really hurt. Baby, are you crying? I spent all like of two days cleaning this house. I'm sorry. It wasn't. I don't know. I can't control what I step in. Yeah, but but you also remembered that you stepped in something. Remember? Because I I found the source. It was the bottom of your shoe. And then I'm like, there's something on the bottom of your shoe. And then you're like, oh, I did step in something. Remember? You were like shooting at the park. I remember this. Yeah. Anyway. And? Anyway, I was really upset. <laughs> I hate ants. I don't like bugs. I really <laughs> just dislike it. I have a fear of wasps, a legitimate fear. Like, some people are like okay with the wasp like flying around their faces. Like, mm -mm. I will drop everything. Mm hmm. I've dropped my purse, my phone. I've got out of my car. I've. Pants. My pants? Yeah. She just pulls them down and goes crazy. <laughs> One time I pulled up to a gas station to get a gas. It was in the summertime when the wasps were really bad in Canada. Because I don't really see a lot of wasps around here. Mm -hmm. But, um. Canadian wasps are crazy too. Yeah. Gonna sting you, eh? <laughs> oh, don't. Don't do that, bro. I'll sting you, eh? No, they don't even. They just go for it. <laughs> they just sting you, period. Pulled up to this gas station. Started pumping gas in my car. And all of a sudden, like, two, three wasps are, like, around, like, the, the, the gas, the handle mm -hmm. thing. I like let go of the gas, I put it back on the thing, I ran inside, I literally only put 25 cents of gas in my car <laughs> before I was terrified and drove away. Like, hey bro, this girl smells like syrup, eh? Let's go sting her, bro. It's Canadian wasp. Canadian Mexican wasp. Did that sound Mexican? A little bit, I think. <laughs> I'm here to protect you from all the ants and all the wasps. Tim, Tim is really good at, at killing all the things. One time we had this like crazy water bug in our house. Yeah, yo, that thing was crazy. It was so big. I think I feel like I saw it and I blacked out. Okay, so let me tell you something. She always makes a little fuss about bugs, but it's always just a little fuss, right? It's nothing crazy. She's, I'll, I'll be chilling on, and watching TV and I'll hear her go, Beep! and I'm like, oh, oh man, it's, it's a bug, it's a bug. I'll grab a tissue, I'll run in there. What's up, baby? What is it? What is it? She'll point to it, I'll kill it, spider, ant, whatever, right? <clears throat> so one day, <laughs> she was in the little guest bathroom and I hear her scream, shriek louder than I've ever heard her scream, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she comes running out of the bathroom, stripping all her clothes off, just, oh my God, it's on me! It's on me! It's on me! <laughs> I'm like, yo, what happened? I literally, 
<laughs> took all my clothes off. I was naked in the middle of the living room. If there was somebody here, yeah. I would. I, I don't care. I saw black. I blacked out. Oh my god! So she's naked, running to the bathroom. She's like, "It's in there. It's in there. there. It's so big. Oh my god! It was so big." She's like crying. I run to the shower to like disinfect my whole body. Yo, but not gonna lie, mm. it was big, bro. It was like one of these like water bug, like cockroaches, whatever it was. But it was like it was. I I kid you not. Like literally, literally. like 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 an inch. Inch and a half, bro. Like inch and a half, two inches, like and girthy too. You know what I'm saying? Uh. <laughs> and so uh, I went in the bathroom and I was like, oh, okay. So I definitely like <laughs> grabbed my little paper towel and just oh. <laughs> crushed it up. And you heard like the crunchy sound? Yeah. Is it smushy? It was more crunchy than smushy. Ugh, yeah. gross. Woo! That was nasty. So after that, I'm like, we have to call an exterminator. We need somebody to come and look at every square inch of this house. But thank God, the more people that we told, they were like, that's like just a, a water bug. It's nothing, just kind of comes through the drain. The sewer, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah, the drain. I don't know where it came from. Probably like the ceiling or I'm, either way. Thank God it was only one. Because I, I straight up was like, if there's more of these. Kids, we are leaving. If they like planted eggs in our in our uh, drainage pipes. I am leaving. <laughs> <sighs> I just don't like I just don't like all the bugs. Mm, no, nope. it's okay, baby. I'll protect I'll I'll protect you. Okay. Yes, you're the best. Dad. <laughs> but I just have I raid in every corner and I just yeah. Shh. Just like yesterday, there's one on the ceiling and I shh, and it yeah. fell to the ground and shh. dude, you're a beast now. You don't even like, sometimes you don't even scream. I, I'll just come in the room and there's a little little dead bug on the phone. I'm like, wow, look who's it's growing. It Damn, okay. Oh my God. See, after a year of marriage, man, we've already helped you, each other so much. You get stronger. You kill bugs. I close drawers. Yes. Um, I close them now for you specifically. Thank you. Um, even though it's pointless. Yes, it's pointless. Just leave everything open. That makes the most sense. It, it really does. Because in my head, uh -huh. nobody sees the drawers. Nobody sees them except for us. I'm somebody. I know, but you don't see my side of the bed. Yes, I do. <laughs> I make the bed every day. And that's one of the most annoying parts because I'm like walking back and forth. Because we have a king bed, so I can't just like, you know, put the sheets. I got to go around to each side. Yeah. So it's like I have to keep going back and forth. And it's annoying if the drawer is sticking out because it's, it, now it's in my way. Well, because that's the thing. Well, um, you the one that wanted a bed with drawers in it. We had to get a custom bed frame with drawers in it. We wouldn't have to. I like the drawers. I like the extra space. Okay. I like the extra space, and you liked it too. Don't lie. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, I just, you know, I mean, I close them now, but it's, it's still pointless, you know. Yeah, so pointless. You gotta open them and close them every day. Jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> You're so weird. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, um, hope you enjoyed this first uh, husband and wife mukbang. Yeah, I, I didn't eat too much. It's okay. So we, sorry we, we, we did some damage. Are... We did some damage. We good. Sorry if the foodies are are ashamed I'm, of the amount that I I'm full eat. too, baby. You, no, look, being a foodie isn't about eating a whole lot. It's just about enjoying the food, you know. Yeah. So shout out to Rayburn Sandwiches. Uh, link in the description for you know where you can go to get some Rayburn sandwiches. And um, uh, what 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 what? If you like these mukbangs, let me know. Uh, make sure you follow my wife on Instagram. Chia underscore happy or my blog just peachy.co Cause I'm always typing up something. <laughs> I got more skits and I got uh, and I'm working on new music uh, one day. Alright Jeff? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> never. never. <laughs>